If you're traveling to Pu'uloa petroglyphs from Kona, head south around the island to the other side, the Volcano National Park. Aloha! So we are at the petroglyph site. You gotta walk about 0.7 miles in and 0.7 miles back. Be sure to bring water so you stay hydrated and a hat. Let's go! Hawaiians who lived in this harsh place learned to live and survive by living off the land and the sea. The mountains and the ocean provided fish, pigs, and other foods. But this lava-covered lowland offered minimal soil and fresh water. This made the cultivation of the sweet potato, which is a staple of the Hawaiian diet, very difficult. The native farmers created pits and they stacked rocks in the sheltered corners of the lava flows to cradle the valuable soil and moisture required to grow their sweet potatoes. recent mapping projects have confirmed Pu'uloa as the largest petroglyph field in Hawaii. Ancient Hawaiian culture lacked a written language. The petroglyphs you see here provide a glimpse into the lives of those early Hawaiian people, their life experiences, their struggles, and their successes. Some of these petroglyphs can be recognized as human forms, animals, or canoes. Others are more abstract sacred, or known only to their creator, who holds the secrets of their true meaning. Ancient Hawaiians would come here to place their pico umbilical cord of their child under a rock. Their hope was that the manna, the spiritual energy of the hill, would bless that child with a long and prosperous life. Each hole is created to house a single child's pico. There are 23,000 petroglyphs found here, and 16,000 of them are pico-related carvings, which shows how important they were. The design of each pico puka is as unique as the individual who created it. Some are carved deep, some shallow, while others are more extravagant, with multiple holes, either in a circle, encircled, or in a line. These petroglyphs, regardless of the style, unite generations of Hawaiian families, past, present, and future. Aloha, until next time.